Hi everybody, um, what I'm going to show you today is this lovely um, Schaefer Snorkel Triumph fountain pen um, that came to me from a gentleman in Germany. Um, it's come for a service so as you can see the pen is there, we've not actually done anything yet so we need to dismantle that, put a new sack in, uh, new washers etc etc. Um, but the main problem with this particular pen as you can see it's the metal version and when it actually came to me um, the cap as you can see there is, a, is in a sorry state it's actually been through the wars so if I just sort of turn it round for you as you can see it's got lots of quite major dents in it and to the top there as well I'm not sure if you can actually see that okay but mainly to the front there it's it's well it's very very badly dented and basically the gem gentleman said can you uh, can you do anything about it now the problem with the Schaefer snorkel caps is that the inner caps are normally very difficult to take out now this is a disclaimer I don't want you to try this at home yourselves but all I'm going to do is just show you how I did it um, but they are very difficult to take out. What I did is actually use this this anchor bolt here which when you screw it in this top bit here expands and all I simply did is wrapped it in this this bike inner tube if you like. We pushed it inside the inner cap which at the time was obviously in the cap itself. We applied quite a bit of heat to the outer cap and then because this was stuck in quite stiff with the rubber if you like because what we did we actually turned it and we expanded um, the the bolt to the top we then well I didn't say it wasn't as simple as just pulling it out it was a bit of a it was a bit of a job getting it out but as you can see we've actually got the the inner cap out as I say don't try this at home um, they are very difficult to take out especially the plastic caps and you can, you can actually ruin ruin the cap but again as you can see by this particular one here it's it's in a very sorry state so what I'm going to do is try and get all these dents out of the cap um, so that when we send it back it's hopefully in a better state um, also if you look at the clip there that's that's badly bent as well we need to bend that out slightly and work on the clip as well um, and just to show you how it actually goes together Obviously the inner cap goes inside and the clip just simply, let's show you the in, inside of the clip there. Okay, there's, there's a spring that sits inside the clip and what happens is the clip goes back like so inside the cap. Um, and then what you need to do is get some tweezers and replace this particular spring inside the clip, inside the cap okay incidentally when we took it out if you look at this spring there it's got this little ridge or this little notch to the end there that was actually sat if you like let's try and show you something well, yeah something like that okay it's sat similar to that inside the inside the cap and what we did we used our another very popular tool this um, crochet needle and what you do is prod, prod that down inside the the cap and then if we can just show you close up what we did is we got hold of this little notch to the top here and then just simply pull the spring out of the cap inside and then once you pull it out obviously what happens is the clip just simply just comes out um, to the bottom of the cap just inside there you've got this sort of little if you like plastic washer I'm hoping you can see that that will actually sit over the hole there so we'll we'll place that back in inside there and then on in inside there we'll put the uh, the, the clip if you like okay so I'm hoping uh, that's all quite clear to you so as I say that's the before if you like and again what I'm going to do is going to, they're going to dismantle the whole pen and we're going to uh, service that it's not working at the moment it just needs a service so we'll do that but the main thing is this particular cap here it's going to be quite a bit of a job 
to take all these dents out not just to the top there but they've got them I'm hoping you can see there it's got dents all over um, a little dent to the to the very top of the cap there as well and one to the lip as well so what we're going to do um, just to give you an idea I've got if you like this homemade mandrel and what will happen is I'll place that mandrel inside there what I'll use I've got numerous of these particular bars here that bar will go inside like that so when I put that in this particular section here in the vise this turns nice and easily um, and makes it nice and easy for me to work on and what I'll actually be doing again we'll take the mandrel out I'll be using my little um, jeweler's hammer I'll be using a little bit piece of wood first of all very gently and very very carefully I'll be knocking some of these um, these dents out once I've done that what I'll do is I'll use a bar like this as I say I've got several of these bars and what I'll actually be doing <coughs> excuse me I will actually again when we've got the majority of the dents out as best as we can what we'll do we'll be rolling these bars up and down not only will I be rolling it but I'll be using this um, if you like this seesaw motion as well so as you roll you use this seesaw motion and hopefully what will happen is we'll get most of these dents out and get the cap back to as near as we can to the original shape of it as I say it's come from a gentleman in Germany it was his father's pen and he'd like it servicing because he obviously wants to use it which well I think is a great idea so that's before if you like I'd just like to show you that um, before I start working on it I'm not going to show you how, how I take all the dents out because it takes a long time um, I've got to do it bit by bit check it bit by bit check it so it's a little bit monotonous to to do it on camera um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the cap put the cap back together service the pen and then what we'll do we'll come back and do you um, a brief review on this particular pen so just for now I'll just say bye bye now okay so here we are this is about three days later and what we've done we've done the cap we've serviced the pen and everything is hunky dory um, I don't know if you can actually notice to the top there we've taken the dent out of the very top very top of the cap there um, the clip was also loose it's uh, nice and tight now um, I don't know if you recall but the clip was very flat and what we've done we've we've bent it out slightly so it's got a slight curvature to it <coughs> and I'm hoping you can see there we've got rid of well most of the dents dents to the cap and it looks well it looks a hundred times better now I think if I may say so myself okay so what we've also done we've serviced this lovely pen and as I said what we've got here is a Schaefer Snorkel um, Triumph Fountain Pen circa round about the 1950s I believe round about 52 57 um, it's the metal version with the if we show you the very top there with a white dot and the pen is gold filled and it has these um, straight engraved lines to the to the length of the pen and if we show you the filling knob to the top there okay so all in all an absolutely gorgeous pen so let's unscrew the cap there and as you can see an absolutely lovely example incidentally the nib on this particular one is the Triumph nib the markings on the nib it actually says Schaefer made in USA and this is the 14 karat gold version um, as I say it's a gold version but it has this as you can see to the top there it's got this platinum um, mask if you like so it's, it's a two-tone triumph nib and if we show you underneath there you can see the snorkel sat inside the the feed there and the feed as I said it's been fully serviced we've cleaned it everything is hunky-dory and well I'll tell you what we'll actually do let's show you the pen writing so let's bring on some ink 
Now, how we actually fill this particular pen, what we do is turn the filling knob to the bottom here, we turn it anti-clockwise. As we're doing that, we push, we push inwards, and what I'll simply do, I'll be quiet, because what you actually do, you turn anti-clockwise until you hear a clicking sound, so I'll be quiet for a moment. And as I'm turning it, you'll also see the snorkel comes from the nib. Okay, I hope you could hear that. There you go again. A little clicking sound that's told us that the snorkel has come out far enough. And at this point what we do, we simply pull out the snorkel tube there. Again, we bring on some ink. <coughs> and as before with my videos, this particular pen fills by simply pressing the tube downwards in one stroke. So we insert the snorkel into the ink. Again, I'll be quiet. Okay, I'm hoping you could hear that. Lots of lovely bubbling, bubbling noises, which is what we want to hear. And now what we do, we simply turn the knob clockwise and that actually retracts the snorkel all the way back into, into the pen, like so. Okay. What we'll do, we'll just give it a little bit of a wipe. You don't need to do it, but there we go, a little bit of a wipe. What I'll do is bring on the little pad and let's do a little bit of writing. This is the first time the pen has been written since I've serviced it, so what we do, we keep our fingers crossed. So, there we go. A Schaefer Snorkel and as I said, this particular one is the Triumph. It's the old, the gold version, and it dated from around about 1952 to, I don't know, let's say 1959. This particular one writes with a smooth line, and as you can see, it's absolutely lovely. An absolutely lovely, lovely writer. Okay, so I'm hoping you can actually see that. It writes absolutely lovely. So there's a writing sample. As I say, it's writing in a fine line and lovely, lovely and smooth. So there we go. Fully serviced in full working order. So what we'll do this particular time, again, we'll turn it anti-clockwise. There you go, until we hear the, the clicking noise. We pull the tube out, press down and I hope you could hear the ink there going into into the bottle. So what we'll actually do as well, just to try and show you the pen actually how it works, I'm going to pull out the tube again here and again we just simply, I'll try and just tip it up so you can see things working Okay, and if we pull that up again and press it down, you can see it shoots out a lovely strong jet of water. So let's press it again. There you go, you can hear it bubbling. And again, if we pull out the snorkel tube, and I'll put it to the top of the camera there, and if we press down, there you go, a lovely jet of water so once more we press down we can hear the bubbling sound we pull out the tube to the top there and again eject any water okay so what I'm going to do now is clean the pen as I say this particular one is for a customer it's his father's pen so I'm hoping well I'm hoping you like your pen Marcus, I hope you're happy with everything that you've seen here. As you can see we've serviced it, the pen is now looking a hundred times better than when we received it from you. Okay, we've taken out a lot of the dings there, we've also took out the ding to the top of the cap there. Inside we've adjusted or 
yeah well we've adjusted the spring inside there's no wobble now before it was wobbling the, the clip was wobbling it's not wobbling anymore it's nice and tight and as we said before now you can see that it's got a lovely curve to the clip that's how it should be and again all the dents that we had before majority we've actually taken out and it looks a million dollars so I'm hoping I'm hoping you're happy with your pen markers and it's going to be on its way back to you now so when you get it I hope you enjoy it and I hope you have many years of well happy writing with it but for now I'll just simply say bye bye now <laughs>